Hello friends, welcome back to another tutorial series for new players for um, the console versions of 7 Days to Die on the PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4. So in this video, I'm going to talk about looting. Looting, all the stuff. This game is all about looting. All about looting. Everything is lootable. I can go to this purse or this backpack. I can check it for good stuff. Got a hat, a spike club. Awesome. I can make parts, glass jars, everything I could possibly want, I can find by the way. I'm going to get rid of some of this other crud I've got hauling around here. This trash, I can loot it. Brass doorknobs. You want to keep these, really, you do. So brass is very important uh, for making bullet tips. So you want to keep this stuff up, and you can actually scrap these down into uh, units of brass, or you'll find lead weights. You can scrap two units of, of uh, you need three of them to turn into a, a scrap uh, lead. Or you can scrap like cans down into scrap iron. So scrap iron, scrap brass, these are all the things. So pretty much everything you can scrap down. I can take these brown pants, scrap them down. I'm going to get cloth fragments from those. Honey rifle, scrap that. It's crappy. I don't want it. Scrap it. Iron gar iron hoe, scrap it. I want that. Wooden club, throw away. I don't want you at all. You're, you're icky. All right. So, uh, cars. Two ways of, of harvesting cars. You can search it. You got your stuff. You can bash it with an axe, and you'll get stuff. But the best way to get stuff off of a car is to use a wrench. You select your wrench, and you harvest the car, and you'll get cool supplies. Now, cars have four levels of harvesting on them. So you have this first premier. If it's like a perfectly intact car like this, you can be harvesting it. Now it's damaged. You keep harvesting, and I'll explain what all this stuff up is over there in the corner in a second. Keeps harvesting. Now it's almost done. I like to move around while I'm looting or doing something like this because the zombies can come out of nowhere and, and eat you. Another level, well, actually three levels, sorry, not four. So this one down. And you can see I'm getting those red things are units of gas. Consider them like a, an ounce of gas. I'm getting scrap iron. I just got a car headlight out of that. I got some more scrap iron. So depending upon the stage the car is at is the kind of goods you'll get. If it's a pristine car in really good shape, you've got a chance of getting an, a motor out of it, an engine that you can use to make things like a cement mixer or a mini bike. Um, and if it is a car that's a little more destroyed like this guy, this damaged blue sedan, you can always want to search it first and get some oil out of it. Or if I start taking it apart, I'm getting gasoline. I got some cloth fiber. I got some springs. And I'm getting gas. You get a lot of gas uh, if you take them apart. Oh, I just got an engine. I just got an engine. So there we go. So when you loot things, it will give you a random quality item. Now, the quality will depend. It's random. But it also depends on your character's scavenging skill. So under your skills, you will find scavenging. There it is, scavenging. So the higher it is, the better chance there is of getting good loot. So basically for, you know, let's, let's say for example, there's a 2% chance of me getting an engine off of a car. Well, as I level this up, it'll get better and better and better. And also the time it takes to open this door, open it up, will go down as well as my when that scavenging goes up. So as you're scavenging, every time you open a bag, a box, a briefcase, a purse, a safe, whatever it might be, every time you do it, your skill will go up. So I open this bag up, regardless of what's in there, the first time I open it, my skill in scavenging will go up slightly. So if we look at my scavenging again. You can see that little red line that is my skill going up. XP to next level, so just a little bit more. So if I go into the house, I just want to check this out here as well. Check the mailbox. Usually get some paper. 
we'll go ahead and grab that. There's this trash tire here. Oh, got some glue. Very nice. Now, here we've got a tire. Now, a tire, if you hit a tire, you have a chance, about a 50% chance of it dropping mini bike wheels, which are used in making mini bikes. So, awesome! But you need a book to do that. So, let's go in the house and let's look around a little bit. So, we got abandoned rubbish. Let's grab that. It's got some, ooh, good stuff. So, let's go ahead and throw away some of this other stuff that I don't really need right now. I call this food. Drink, drink some golden rod. Mm, yummy. All right. So we want to get, get that stuff. Loot that. We already looted that. Let's search this. Search that. Search the refrigerator. Uh, we'll go upstairs. Is that a rabbit? Oh, it was a rabbit for a second there. Uh, oh, there's a pig. A pig up here. <laughs> All right. Lead and nails. Uh, so that was it for upstairs. Not a lot of looting in this house. But, oops, forgot this other room. So we got a toilet, which has a chance of getting a nice turd. Oh, yeah, you could throw it at people. But you really you really shouldn't throw turds at people. It's not nice. All right, some old trash. It's a little dark in here. I don't want that. But I got the points for opening the chest. Now, when you find these abandoned buildings, so there's a bunch of them out there in the world that look a little different. But they all look like this dilapidated, run-down, burned, just destroyed. They've got bad trees around them. They're kind of nasty looking like this. You'll generally spawn next to one when you start the game. And each one of them has a secret buried treasure. In this house, the secret buried treasure is underneath this plate next to this back door. Now, there's two ways of getting it. Um, the reason you can tell, if you look right at the edge, you can see a little bit of light coming through, and I can actually select the perch that's underneath. Or I can destroy, I can harvest the block next to it. There we go. And now I can get that perch that's down there. Oh, and my scavenging went to level two. And I got some cat food. Yes, cat food. All right, let's eat the cat food. Mm, yummy cat food, Rongo. All right, so now our scavenging skill has gone to level two. If I go back down here to scavenging, it's a level two. So it's a slightly better loot quality now, 2.8. But I've got five points that I've earned through leveling up that I can use to increase my skills. So each of your skills has a cost. Again, one point. This is 100 levels of this. It's one point per level. This one has five levels. 10 points per level. Um, there are three, there are, there's basically two uh, qu uh, other sub, I guess, sub items of scavenging perks that add on to it. And they are Fast Eddie, which lets you loot faster, cost you 10 points per rank, and also Quality Joe, which increases the percentage or the, the quality of the item you actually find. So, Scavenging, scavenging determines the percentage chance of finding better items. Quality Joe affects the quality level of the item you loot. So, for example, we have this engine that we pull off that car. It's a level 338 quality, which is pretty decent. It's about midpoint. Remember, the scale goes from 0 or 1 to 600 for quality. So, this is a 338. It's not bad. It's pretty good, actually. Um, when you first start making your own items, you're going to make low level, like level seven type stuff. Um, so it takes a little, it takes a long time to get up to be able to make something really, really good. Um, so the point of 338 is pretty good. But if I had Quality Joe of, for example, let's go back down here to Quality Joe. If I had three ranks in Quality Joe, that same loot roll would have netted me a plus 100. So it would have given me a 438 quality uh, engine. So you can see that adding points into Quality of Joe will get you some better weapons or better quality weapons and better quality items pretty early on in the game. So it's always a good idea to invest in that one. Um, it's also a good idea to invest in 
Run Forest Run, which lets you uh, run for longer without having stamina degradation. Uh, archery is really good. Um, quicker crafting is good. It really comes down to uh, what you want to specialize in. Uh, sexual Tyrannosaurus is excellent. You can just get, uh, you regain stamina much faster. Um, so a lot of these things uh, are, are great. So all of your ammo crafting are all points you need to get. So for example, if I have gunsmithing, I want to make nine millimeter rounds. I need to be able to find and or make uh, bullet tips and then get casings and gunpowder and I can craft nine millimeter rounds and I can buy that. But in order to do that, I've got a requirement here of gunsmithing level 10. So I need to have my gunsmithing at 10 for 10 millimeter. I need to have it at 20, 44 magnums at 40, 762s at 30 and shotguns at 25. So you can see there's this requirement. So not only do I need to have um, the points to buy it, I also have to have the requisite uh, requirement level for that item. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put five points that we've got into our scavenging just to get a chance of that. So we're just going to buy, 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 buy. So now I've got a nine plus 9% 9 quality minus 13.3 loot time. So things are a little faster for me to loot stuff out. All right, so looting, like I said, is everywhere. Now, I mentioned that the car uses the wrench. You can also use the wrench on things like this, the oven. And that will also give you, come on, give you some goodies. An iron, a short iron pipe. What else is he gonna give us? Uh, some scrap cable, which is used to make other parts. Oops, my wrench is now defunct. My wrench has broken, and I cannot craft a new one until I get the required uh, schematic to be able to do that. So I don't, ha I can't make a new one yet. So I'm just going to add one to my lovely repertoire. There we go. You can also wrench a refrigerator and get some scrap right off it. You can also wrench a, and it's kind of funny, you can wrench it. We can wrench a, one of these guys and you will get leather. Oh dear. Oh dear. Zombies are coming. And the other things you can, you can use the wrench on are things like these beds. And you can get, I got some cotton. I got some, I got all kinds of stuff off this bed. So that's really good. Oh, now what you hear out there is uh, the witch. She showed up because I've had my campfire writing this whole time and, and she's cranky about that. We'll talk about that more later on. All right, so that is kind of it about looting and your basic skill system. So you earn skills as you level up uh, through using things. Um, so early on in the game, one of the best ways to level up is to go around and just repair a building. If you go around here and just repair a building, it will level up your construction skill really quickly. And that'll earn you, when you level up enough, it'll earn you a, a level here. We'll, we'll see how fast it comes up here. Peg, you are just spazzing out, aren't you? All right, that witch. So that witch will call other zombies in, and they're called in with what's called a heat map. So there's that. Oh, they were out of wood. We can't upgrade anymore. Oh, darn. So the heat map is when you, when you do an activity, like if you've got a, a forge running, if you've got a campfire running, uh, it generates basically noise in the area you're in. And once that noise reaches a certain level, it will summon one of these witches. And let me see if I can find the witch. There she is. And when she sees you or, or, or spots you, she will summon other zombies. And I just ran out of, let me equip better arrows. All right, so she's dead. So I've got two of these lovely ladies. And they will, every time, every time they scream, 
they will summon more zombies. So you want to get them dead post haste. They're annoying little ladies. Plus they're creepy as all get out. What'd you bring me? Some aspirin. Excellent. All right. So we got those out of the way. Oh, there's a third one even. Oh my goodness. I don't know if she actually saw us. Oh, now she saw us. So now she brought her friends. Her friends are going to show up. And they're going to want to kill me. I don't think she's actually dead. So let's go back and check on her. Give her another one in the head. Because if you hit them when they're down, you do do more damage to them. Shoot the nurse. So nurses carry special loot. They'll carry loot that is uh, relevant to healing stuff. So they generally will carry, uh, they can carry crutches, they can carry pain pills, they can carry um, uh, beakers once in a while. They'll carry uh, bandages. So they're good to uh, to fight and kill when you're, oh, God, another one? Man, you guys just, that campfire must have been, yeah, just bringing them for a while and they finally just decided to show up. All right, so the nurse, again, will loot her, and she'll generally... Oh, she just has nothing. Okay. The uh, snow zombies that live in this area, the Slumberman, will have the... They have the best uh, kind of standard loot. And these, that was, that was a, a... The decayed mothers almost always have food. So they almost always have... They bring you lunch, which is nice of them, right? And these big guys... These big guys are they generally always carry uh sham sandwiches which are bad for you to eat uh but they are also good sources of usually some you know weapon parts that kind of stuff and generally the the higher tier of animal or i mean of object um the better the chance of getting items so for example there's cop zombies that uh can explode and kill you now they uh have good chances of good loot now pigs there's a buddy rabbit up here too peg where'd you go oh he's right there he's just, it's just really dark right there all right so animals okay animals you need to use uh i'm really sorry about the darkness now let's get a let's get a um my helmet and put that on so you guys can you guys can see better i should have put that on oh, oh well Okay, uh, so you need to have a shiv, and you can get a shiv uh, from a bone. You can also use your stone axe, or you can use an axe on an animal, and you'll get um, the supplies off them. If you use a shiv or a hunting knife or a machete, you'll get the best stuff. So I've got some animal fat and some animal hide. The reason it dropped on the ground is my inventory was full, so it didn't have any place to put it. So if I take it out of my inventory... I'll pick these guys back up. If I keep going, now I had that meat and everything is going right into my inventory. So off this pig, I've gotten animal fat and a large bone. So that bone dropped because I didn't have room again. But if I had picked that bone up now, let's go ahead and drop the animal fat, pick the bone up, and we can make a shiv. Recipes, bone shiv, craft that. And that will allow us to harvest animals uh, a little faster. Let's kill this bunny rabbit. Bunny, rabbit, stop hopping around, you hop along. Bunny, don't make this hard for yourself. All right, so let's grab the bone shiv. And then we'll harvest that up. Now, harvesting is, is more efficient. You'll get more off of it if you use the right tool. All right, so we get that. Beautiful. So now we've got nine pieces of meat. We've got animal hides, all that kind of good stuff. All right, so that was kind of a quick video on uh, looting in general and uh, basics on the skill system. So basically, loot every container you find. You will find so much good stuff out there. Use the proper tool. Look for these secret compartments. Every one of these houses has one of these. Best way to do it, look around the edges, and you'll see it's got a little bit of a gap. And you can see there's another... When he's over here, uh, where is it? Where is the other? Oh, here it is. So you can see that this one does not have that gap around it. 
So you can tell that that's the one that we want. Um, so they usually have good loot in those, so they're worth your while to check them out. Uh, if you check out uh, Diandra D, her channel, she's got a video showing the location of every one of those, uh, where to find it in these kind of houses. It's a good thing to check out if you want to find them. All right, for now, it's been Wrong with the Bowl. If you guys have a question, comment, you want me to do a tutorial or some tips and tricks on a specific aspect of Seven Days Style, let me know. I want you guys to have fun. Seven Days Style is a great game. Graphics may not be the best, but you know what? It's the gameplay that matters, and Seven Days Style has it in spades. So enjoy it on the consoles, and we look forward to seeing you guys uh, enjoy the game as much as all the PC guys have for the last few years. So until until then, it's been Wrong with the Bold. Talk to you later. Bye!